Alright, hey there guys, we're checking out Vinny here, he's on CP Gullywash, he's playing, playing in the Brazilian League, I think. Let's see how he does. Looks like he's roaming here. Okay, so, that was a good direct, but the jumps you did there are a little unnecessary. Like, you only just beat that guy, and I imagine he was a bit healthier getting there. That was a good bomb. But yeah, definitely the initial party roll could be improved on. I mentioned in uh, Cannons, I believe, his demo review, that you can do the jump through the open shower door from the lower shower door. That kind of puts you down beneath a bit quicker. And if you just want to go left or right uh, underneath, it's probably going to be quicker and more efficient health-wise doing that. Time has been added. Come here, sweetheart. Um, and alternatively, you can also just peek through that window and get a bunch of free damage there, but that mode is fine. Uh, right now, I think it's kind of irresponsible not to be getting full health, because I wouldn't expect you to make anything of this without full health, so you're really just delaying your push through here. I'd probably be trying to take that bottle before you go in here, but it looks like no one's really caught you, so this is going to go pretty well. Um, not sure I agree with jumping into them. I feel like you've already won this point, and you've got that scout going behind, so I probably would have opted to go kind of behind with him. Maybe jump up to the top left kind of balcony area and last, then jump behind him through river. I hope everyone calls everything the same in Brazil. Or maybe you don't speak English. I don't know, but you should know what I'm talking about. Um. Hmm. I feel like that jump could have been good, but I think you were jumping into them rather than jumping like above them or something. Like I think jumping on top of the point or to the rock or above the uh, choke area probably would have been a bit better there than kind of into them. I imagine you were probably trying to do that but being a little more deliberate in that way would probably prevent you from getting air shot and you'd still be able to put out a ton of damage. So they're losing pretty hard as it looks. Um, so I don't think it's unreasonable for you to do this. Uh, I think if you waited there, you would guarantee this kill. This stand, it's nice that you're going to get the demo. And now, I think, while this guy is weak, that was a nice shot, I think it would have been more appropriate just to get some health, because you already have this huge advantage going to last with the demo down. So, I mean, while you hit some pretty sick rockets there, I don't think it was the best play. Yeah, I think that was an appropriate time to maybe off class since you saw that pyro. And that pyro is really going to hurt you a lot in this last push because you're just going to be able to negate a lot of what you're doing. So maybe go heavy or probably probably just heavy is be the most consistent way to off class into this, but that's just one option. This is a really good spam. I really like what you did there. And that's good. I don't think you should have dropped down from the top right, but you're spreading out a lot of damage and it's really good. And uh, really good to jump on the rim there. You're using your terrain really well. But yeah, I think you should have been a bit slower there. But I'm liking that you're kind of not stuck on one kind of gear, if that makes sense. Sometimes you're really aggressive and sometimes you're a bit slower. Like you should wait for a full buff before doing this. Jumping up here. Cause if you get a full buff, you can start aggressing river and maybe get a pick. But this is also fine, trying to find shit for your team. Unfortunately, you get blind deaded. So, not much you can do about that.
Alright, so you saw them uber up top, so you can maybe get in lobby and kill a unbuff person, that would be what I'd look to do. I think giving your location away here by spamming rockets is not appropriate. Uh, conscious team definitely would have known you're there, and that pretty much stops your effectiveness coming from big door. Uh, so maybe just kind of hug the wall and kind of approach the door as they're maybe coming back out. Or if they're already losing, it doesn't really hurt. But this is fine. If you actually, to the right, there's a little overhang as soon as you pass that uh, bump in the ceiling. You can actually jump up there and hide there, and it's a bit stronger of a position to hide it than this. Yeah, I would get that health back. You never want to have a health pack out, especially if it's you know, like close to the enemy. Because uh, even if you guys do a whole lot of damage here, they have a health pack to fall back on. So this push from them is pretty safe. Uh, I wouldn't go for directs on that heavy, just make sure you get them low. Because heavy is not about bursting down by yourself, so if your whole team is focusing him, he has a chance to go down. But in general, I think you, in that fight, you need to kind of make some plays. Um, so maybe like jump lower and then get up behind them. That really, since the heavy was so pushed out, leaves him out to dry if they go back for you, and if they don't, then you're in a flanking position. As long as you're careful about how far you actually go and you don't overextend going behind them, and don't get picked by the combo, you'll probably trade, or you'll probably end up killing the heavy that way. So yeah, good for you to recognize to go back to soldier. Sick trap by your demo apparently. Maybe it's just some frags, I don't know. I think you should go out lower right. You definitely want to be going out here, because I'm not completely sure, but I believe you still have a heavy on last, so... Uh, if you'd saved some rockets, you probably could have killed that guy a bit more easily. Your mech probably wouldn't have to force. Yeah, I would go for one air shot, and that that prediction direct was fine. But you know, you need to save a couple rockets to be able to actually deal with him. If he like, it's fine to go for air shots just to clean people up quicker. But at a certain point, there is a risk in taking an air shot and using all that ammo. My general rule is only use like one rocket for an air shot. But, you know, some people use a couple. Which is fine, but I would stray away from doing that because obviously it hurt you guys a lot there. So I think this is a okay class to deal with this heavy, but um, I think just being top right as a soldier really puts pressure on pretty much everything they can do. Because if this heavy is in place of a soldier, I don't know who usually plays what on this team. If this heavy is in place of a soldier, then you will have no people contesting you top right that can realistically deal with you. Because most teams won't actually push through there. So if you jump in as they're pushing through a different door, you're at worst going to meet a scout. And if no one meets, up, meets you there, you can control the entire last pretty easily. And uh, if he's subbed uh, for a scout, then you have a little bit more to worry about, but you can work on this guy a bit harder. Like, right here. If you had been doing this the entire time, you would have been, like, crushing people. But, oh, that sucks. That was a really good play. Um, maybe he's strafing a bit. In the other direction, I'm gonna help there, but um, that was sound. Yeah, this sucks. I feel like when you died, it was pretty much over. That push, I mean. I think a soldier here definitely would have been better. Are you took a lot of damage, but at the same time, the only other player defending is a pyro, so he's not going to really be able to abuse the fact that you're getting focused. 
And you definitely would have done a lot more damage as soldier, just splashing everyone. And your rockets are pretty crisp, so... I definitely wouldn't worry too much about... Uh, maybe not being as... Yeah, so this rollout's really good, I like this a lot. But if you do a bit quicker, you're obviously a bit more effective. This is good. I feel like you could have had a much stronger mid if you kind of ignored the medic a bit there. Uh, that said, your team was in a pretty bad state, so getting the medic would have been pretty nice there. But if you do the rollout I was talking about, you kind of do a skip jump through big door. I got there a teensy bit quicker as long as you're jumps in lobby and last or spot on and you'll be able to hit the soldiers there so you're you're gonna be a little bit slow because you're reloading like you were there but you'll also slow them down so that kind of follow-up jump you did would be much more effective since there's no way your team could really kind of get shit on there Okay, so I think as soon as like the first player died and you saw the second soldier jump in uh, into the heavy, I think it's appropriate to switch just to get it a bit earlier because with one down and a uh, flying soldier coming into your heavy, there's very little that you're going to be able to shoot at there as a sniper, like the game's already done. It's nice that you uh, check that hiding spot, it's really keen of you. And uh, yeah, hugging that wall is perfect, because if the guy sticks around, you get a really nice fight on him. I don't think jumping behind was appropriate, especially jumping that high. If you jump a bit lower, you could be able to control that fight a bit better. But um, I think I'd want to personally um, just kind of hit that scout before I jumped him. Because then I don't have to hit some miracle rocket after I direct him or something. So maybe just spam him out a bit if he's not playing attention then I'd follow up on that jump. Or just spam them. Like, you just need to slow them down uh, for your team to kind of get in. Because uh, I feel like they were backing up there, so... It's not always about getting the frags by yourself. So yeah, you're wasting a whole ton of health here. Um, which you don't need to do. I wish I knew um, offhand there's a video about that quick rollout, but if there's enough requests, I'll try and I'll record one myself. Like, it's really, it like, accomplishes what you're trying to do so much better. So it would be nice to be able to show people it. So right now, I think you should be taking going up top, just because there's a health back up there. And I don't think it's unreasonable for you to be out there anyway, coming if they're pushing, and I expect them to be pushing, but maybe I didn't notice them might go down. So I don't think your team should be holding that this way anyway, because uh, I don't know if you're mega off force, but that soldier definitely had a lot of time to force him if he wanted to. I don't really know what- I think that's their medic that died somehow, I'm not sure how that happened. Great for targeting the soldier there. Because even if they- if your pocket didn't force them, killing that guy is free, and you knew he was weak. Um, the plus side of it is like, you kill him and you only have a demo medic to deal with, so you'll definitely be able to force them. So that was a good decision there. So that demo, you saw you didn't have a crit heal, so I think it would be pretty Thanks, pretty effective to just jump into him in river. So I probably wouldn't go sniper here, especially with a couple down. You could try to work a pick, or at least set up a forward hold with your team in lobby. Uh, it's really easy to cover every door in lobby and make it really uncomfortable for the enemy team to push in. 
And maybe you secure a frag in that hold, and that just sets you up for a big bomb in yard, which has the potential to force them with very little repercussions because they're so far back. So it's kind of like a, a game of drawing the line in the sand. You're just kind of setting up. Uh, if you don't have picks you're comfortable on pushing out on, you can sack in or set up closer to the enemy team. Just gain some ground. So I don't think sniper is appropriate there because with two down they're never going to peek. So definitely not sniper. Maybe you go spy or something, check things out, maybe go for a backstab, that's even better than sniper, but sniper's just a little, a little irrelevant there. I I like that you kind of delayed there, but I think that if you just jumped around and looked for some people, you probably could have gotten some damage out. Instead of waiting for the uber to end, because their uber was really constricted to one side of the map, so it's likely that a good team's going to push multiple doors, so a lot of potential for you to catch someone else that maybe doesn't have the best buff since they weren't pushing in with a medic. So I feel like that second jump you do there is, or the third jump from the lower star door, if you're not actually doing the skip, which is what I'm kind of referring to when I say the fast rollout, then you're, you're really losing a lot of health for no reason because you're not gaining a whole lot of ground. So if it's your intention to do the skip, then, you know, whatever, you're just messing up a little bit. But if if that's not your intention, I would skip that part of your rollout. Because it's hurting you a lot. Uh, try and take some fall damage here, since you can be... Okay, your scout's here, never mind. Alright, so you're going to get a kill here. Might as well just enter through lower lower with a medic. Yeah, you're medic. Yeah, okay, he's... Alright, you guys definitely could have just gone in through lower lobby. It's really nice going through there because it sets you up for a pick for anyone watching main if they kind of aren't paying attention. And you also have the potential to... Well, you get in really quick and safely. Like... Damn. He was actually, like, at the very side of your screen. <laughs> it's really unfortunate you didn't catch him. <laughs> that was a pretty ballsy T cloak. Anyway, um, yeah, just going in through lower lobby, especially when you're close to it, is very optimal. It sets up a possibility for a kill. I like that you're going heavy here, but uh, yeah, lower lobby is good. Don't be afraid to go in with your team. Obviously, it's not entirely your decision. Your medic had to decide to do it, but. It's really nice for gaining ground, so you kind of surprise people if they're holding in lobby, just go behind them through main. Really easy to just kind of collapse on people. And this is, I don't like this spot because, you know, you're hidden, but at the same time you're really vulnerable to a push from any door, so I think hanging out on these stairs would be better, and it also makes you more central and buffable. Um, with that, I think, I believe that's your pocket that just died, I'd be more willing to get in this uber. Um, if you have adequate comms and when they're where they're coming in, you could probably jump around a corner and force them pretty easily and that'd be pretty strong. Like right here is what you want to be doing. Calm down a bit there though. Heavy's not about, you know, being perfectly at the center of people, so it's fine to just track them and be off by a bit. But yeah, so what you did there was correct, just lurking around a corner, waiting for some comms. I think that was their way safe to push out that way though. I think lower would have been a lot better. I don't think it was inappropriate to jump a bunch there. Um. And maybe this is an adjustment because that scout's been doing that all the time, but it was really good. But yeah, the reason why that rollout was better than the rest of them is because your initial buff was so poor, not to discredit your mech or anything, that it was fine to just waste your buff because it wouldn't have made a difference. But I think with a bit be be better health management in spawn, you could be taking crit heals before your demo. 
uh, which is doable. And that way you'd probably have like a 260 buff going through choke. Well, maybe like a 250, which would help out a bit. Dude, you're a magic man. I do not know shit about this map. I don't feel like this is um, that much better, or better at all, than just staying above. Because I feel like if people are looking up above there, then you don't want to give yourself away like that. But yeah, I feel like if people are looking up there to check for the person just above choke, they're definitely going to see you. And you just have more time in the air to be hit scanned. So I think just being above choke is a stronger position for the roamer because you'll be able to get onto them earlier and you spend less time in the air and your rockets will be doing more damage. Plus it's a, it's a lot easier to jump away from so if you don't like the situation you're in you have a bit more... <laughs> Excuse me, you have a bit more options for escape. Just splash this guy. I'm pretty sure he was like 2 HP. Um, but he was definitely splashable, so I think trying to direct him there was uh, a crucial mistake. Because uh, you saw him getting bounced around a bit, so I don't think it would be unreasonable to go for really easy splash rockets there. But you guys defend, so it's okay. Okay, so that demo kind of went in without a buff. Had you not just fired a spam rocket, I probably would have jumped that guy. But not a big deal. Maybe my demo's bugged and I don't see overview particles, but I think I do. Either way, I think uh, he was a pretty prime target to jump if you hadn't fired a spam rocket. Okay, so as soon as you see that guy beat the shutter, more often than not that means he's going to be Ubering through there. So you should have switched off Sniper a second earlier. Um, looks like it might not matter. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so here, if I think it's more appropriate to take a buff to 300 instead of doing this really early shenanigans. Because you don't really get up here too much earlier than the other soldiers, and it just sets you up to get counter jumped. So if you want to do something like like that, you should look up the quick rollout on this map, because you can actually end up on their side using it as well if you do it properly. I don't really know who has a video of it, but uh, as far as I know it's called the Z-Ryan rollout, so... Yeah. Maybe I could dig up a match from last season, I know some people did it against us, so... This is a good bomb. I think you... If you'd wait a couple seconds... Okay, this is pause. If you'd wait a couple seconds just to get a bit lower, you could have made a pretty confident prediction rocket on... The mid. Instead of kind of shooting a bit earlier, and having that potential to miss and then getting a bit closer to missing the second rocket. If you just delayed your first rocket a bit, I think you could have consistently two rocketed him. Um, 
So yeah, just a little bit rushed there. And you know, just because you're in the air it doesn't mean you have to fire all your rockets at once. So uh, just general advice. Hope this pause doesn't last too long. Yeah, honestly, it seems like Brazilians are pretty fucking good at TF2. Uh, I didn't know they were so close to like North America. Yeah, with like a little bit better teamwork, you guys would probably be pretty fucking sick. I don't know what div this is, but it seems pretty decent. There aren't too many mistakes I'm seeing from either side. Except for a little bit of uber misplay, but you know, it's really difficult. This guy made a mistake here. I think he should have been more aggressive in killing him. I'd feel comfortable jumping off of that staircase and using the time and air just, just to kill him. Like, I'd be pretty comfortable in that. Especially if your teammates were a bit conscious about where you were, they'd probably push in a bit too, so it'd be a 2v1. Back to Sniper, hopefully it goes better this time. I think a lot of times, and I say this for pretty much every people like uh, that off class, I think it's some, uh, like most of the time most appropriate just to stay on your class. Because um, having that buff when they come in is really crucial. Um, and I also think that Romer, especially, is very effective on this last and just closing out doors. Good that you're checking everything. I think you should check lower lobby for the person hiding on the ammo pack. That'd probably be good. Aw, oh, spooky door. Doesn't open. Um, okay, so... I would be pretty confident that the third rocket you fired was going to hit that scout on the health pack, so my fourth one would have been like trying to direct him as he jumped away, so I don't think it was appropriate to fire it twice at the same spot. Uh, I would I would wait a little bit just to see how he moved, if that makes sense. Because if he doesn't jump, he def if he doesn't ride your rocket, then he's gonna stay where he is anyway and you can just hit him. And if he does then you have the potential to direct him. But firing two splash rockets where he could potentially surf is kinda rough. The control point is being contested. <laughs> These last fights are pretty crazy. Uh, sucks that you didn't quite get there in time. I think on last especially, you should be looking to kind of take a position. Are you guys played it? I don't know if this is over, but yeah, on last, you should probably like jump uh, balcony or on that like pipe and just kind of rain rockets down. I think that would work out a lot better for you, and you'd be able to do a whole lot more damage instead of just kind of all inning on one guy, because Rummer kind of sucks when you're really close to people and dealing damage yourself. It's like really rough. And I don't know if that was a joke mid or not. I, I guess this is still live, but you were slower that mid, and it um, really started a lot better for you because you, you see instead of you getting counter jumped you got a counter jump their player so it's good times well, I don't like that position of your gun um, is really easily spammable from main. 
but it did its job, so I can't really complain. I think hiding it behind the boxes or just below the staircase is a good spot because it's kind of hard to just see it and locate it. Or maybe even in the secret because I think I'll probably be ahead of those jumpers too, but you know, it doesn't really matter when they just kind of go in like that. I already expect a good team to check it. Okay, so that's definitely it. Um, so, for the most part, your rollouts are, I think, lacking a bit, and you need to kind of brush up on a faster rollout potentially, or just manage your health a bit better. And maybe go over with your team, um, if you decide to go yard, the. Um, the practice of kind of buffing you before the demo in spawn because that'll give you a lot more HP going through choke. Other than that I think you should play for positional damage a bit more uh, specifically on last because there's a lot of opportunities where you're jumping into people where you could actually just sit around on a door and spam a lot of rockets. Like not really spam but like go for a direct and stuff. I think sometimes you're misplaying your aim um, so like the time when you were jumping the medic, I think you had a bit, an a bit of an opportunity to wait slightly longer for you to fire your first rocket, and that's generally true whenever you bomb and you're like reloading your last rocket, like reading, reloading a rocket to shoot at your med a medic, like if that happens, there is some time, I don't, it might not be significant but there definitely is some time for you to wait before you fire your first rocket there and if you can kinda get a feel for that you'll know when to delay your rockets and that'll also mess up medics abilities to surf because a lot of them pre-jump and that will just ruin their dodging. For mids I think you're tr yeah like I said I think you're going a bit too early um, I think soldiers are relatively weak at the beginning of this mid and they get a bit stronger towards the middle portion, but like, if you're getting really aggressive early, you're opening yourself up to a lot of scale pressure. And uh, definitely, I would stick off sniper on last, because I think that you're a lot more influential as soldier. Other than that, it's just that there's some minor team errors where you could probably be opting to forward hold in gully lobby. And, uh, yeah, t towards the beginning, you were taking more 1v1s, and a lot of times, Roamer isn't necessarily a kill class. You're really good at hurting people towards your team, if that makes sense, just like blocking their escape. And you had a couple times to do that while you were flanking. And obviously, you're not picking up health packs optimally. Um, that's really important, especially as a roamer, just always picking up health packs, even if you're not that weak. Anyway, good games.